Hello. Okay. Right now, she may still have a little bit of residual swelling, and so she may change strengths here a couple of times in this first month. So I'll check on it every time I see you, but if you do it once a day, we'll be able to keep an eye on it. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm running some impedances right now, and that's one of the measurements that we did in the OR. It's just um, activating each um, electrode to make sure that it's firing correctly. Okay. I'm looking at those measurements. So I'm going to take everything down before I turn the microphone on. And it may be so soft that you don't even hear it at first. I may turn okay. it on and you'll be like, oh, what's wrong? <laughs> Nothing's happening. She would not roll your eyes. <laughs> You're like, I went through surgery and I can't hear this thing. And then so I'll turn it up as we talk, okay? Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Baby girl. <laughs> 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 you can't touch you. What do you think? I like it. <laughs> oh, I thought you were giving me that one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it, that's so exciting. Do you hear anything else other like, than? Like, <laughs> Yeah? Yeah. The fan, maybe? Uh-huh, and the lights make noise. I didn't know the lights make noise. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. Okay. Cool. You're all set. Awesome. Good. Got your stuff. You this is yours. Yeah. yeah. I'll carry it. Okay. All righty. Thank you. You're so welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm excited for you guys. Thanks. And we will see you on the 8th. Okay. There it goes. Ready, my D. Okay. It's on now. So you might you might be hearing a little bit of something but it'll probably be a bit quiet at the moment we're starting off at a very quiet level we're going to slowly turn it up okay okay i can hear her voice but it sounds like a wild but oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you sound like a robot <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What about if mum was to say something to you because you're used to hearing mum's voice? I'm not important. <laughs> A lot of times, what do I sound like? A robot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what does your own voice sound like? Robot. Like a robot. Do you sound yeah. different? <laughs> Like a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Can you remember it sounding like a robot when the right one was first switched on? Well, that, was, that was a while ago, but when the right one was switched off, it probably sounded very similar to what it does now. Mm -hmm. But it's been a while, hasn't it? Okay. Is it quiet or is it loud? Uh, loud. Loud, okay. Good girl. Would you say it's Minus still comfortable? 30. Minus 30. So it's not there. too loud for you. It's okay for it to be loud as long it's as it's loud, really loud. It's really okay. loud. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make you four programs for your left side. We'll start off with a quieter one, and and then it's each time you change program, it will get a little bit louder, um, because it's to help you get used to the sound of it a little bit easier, um, and make it more comfortable for you. Does that sound okay? Okay. I'm going to make a loud sound now just to make sure that it's not too loud for you, alright? Is that alright? Yeah, that's fine for it to be loud, but we just wanted to make sure that it wasn't too loud for you, alright? Let's try two together now. So if you just pop your right one on for me as well. Okay, now that probably sounds stranger still now that you've got the second one on as well. How does that feel? Good. 
it's not too loud now it's it's, it's okay yeah brilliant okay robot no not now no. a bit more natural but only a little bit on this one yes you're still not used to it it's it's going to take a little bit of time but i think because you're used to the right one it makes it sound a little bit more natural doesn't it so eventually your left one will sound more like your right one um, it's just going to take a little bit of time but not too loud it's okay like this it's not too loud no no good okay so this was in p1 so you're quiet <laughs> There's my big buddy. There's my big buddy. <laughs> Sweet baby. Hi, Jay. Hi. This is the coolest day ever. Hi, handsome. There's boy. my boy. Hey, Bubba. There. <laughs> A U.S. woman got the surprise of her life when her cochlear implant was activated. She got to hear her boyfriend's voice for the first time and, not wanting to waste any time, he got down on one knee so the first words she heard from him were the most important ones. Andrea Diaz had her implant activated during a visit to the University of Mississippi Medical Center, accompanied by her boyfriend. When the audiologist turned the implant on, Diaz was able to hear her boyfriend's voice for the first time. It sounds funny, she commented. The boyfriend wasted no time. I wanted to make this one of the first things you hear, because I love you so much and you're my best friend, baby, he said, getting a ring out of his pocket. I wanted to make the first thing you hear was me asking you to marry me. Diaz, of course, said yes. I love you, I can hear your voice. She said, in happy tears. talking a little bit here and let's trade let's trade a new one okay so you're hearing my voice let's have let's Maybe have you should translate let's have um let's have alanya say hi okay everything's gonna sound a little strange all right so let's have alanya say hi hi Bahana. <laughs> Oh, no. We're so happy for you. Oh, you're going to make us all cry. Here. Dang it. Hey, Dang it. So it's going to take some time to process all of this, yeah. okay? Um, it's not uncommon to kind of... Se pone una banda y el aparato va, este, pero no, te, te, no le quiero poner a uno y al otro no. Si ponen los dos. Curious to see how these little rambunctious munchkins are going to keep that on their head, though. When they, you know how they're going to pick it, keep it when they realize they're hearing. Yeah, they're not going to want to take no, it off. So, I mean, obviously they are behind because of the lack of language sure. and stimulation. Uh, once they catch up, they they'll be just fine. I mean, usually when they have a language delay for whatever reason, you notice that when they get turned like ten third grade that the reading becomes more complex mm -hmm. that's when you see the when the the kids that have language delay 
struggle more with reading comprehension and mm -hmm. things like that, but doesn't mean that they won't catch up at some point. Hola. Hola. Me oyes? Hola, papa. Hi, papa. Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo se llaman? Alejandro. Hola, Alejandro. Y, y, y la niña es Isaac. Isaac. Sí. Isaac. El, Isaac. Hola. ¿Me oye? ¿Sí? Hola. Desde que se quedaron tranquilos. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Se quedaron tranquilos. ¿Cómo estás, mi amor? ¿Te gusta? Alex. Alex. Hola. ¿Qué pasó? Están quietos. ¿Me oyes? Sí. Ahora está. Hola. Mi amor. Se quedaron tranquilos. Isaac. Isaac. Alex. Hola. Hola. A ver, pónselo. Their demeanor completely changed. They are like. What's going on exactly? Alejandro. Mira, mira. Mira, este el que es más está en una tranquilidad. Él es el más alborotado. Sí. Isaac. Isaac. Mira, mami. ¿Sí? ¿Te escuchas, mamá? Sí. No sabemos qué es lo que entiende y lo que no entiende. We don't know what they understand, what they don't right. understand. They don't even know their names. They don't even know who they are. No. As far as, like, if you call by their names, right. I mean, they know you. They, they, yo sabe quién es, pero a lo mejor él no sabe que su nombre es Isaac, que él es Alejandro. Yes. <laughs> He wants it. Can you do that again? Take it off and see. Take it off. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. Telling Wait. him. They're so cool. Grossed in what they're doing now. ¿Te gusta? ¿Sí? ¿Te gusta? He's like Thank you.